So imagine yourself, you're new to YouTube, you're arguing with everyone and their brother about gear and what's so good, and you try not to get into it with other channels. Well today, we are not going to be getting into it with another channel, because I think that Casey from Camera Conspiracies is right. The Fuji X-H2S kicks so much butt for vlogging. Uh, what have we done? What have we done differently today? Well, first we got a new lens. Everybody, uh, so politely, as as per YouTube, pointed out that the XC15 to 45 that I was using was focus breathing like something crazy, um, and it was. So I ordered the Viltrox 13mm 1.4, and so far it is great. I have a couple of tricks that I'm going to show you guys, uh, and I might even uh, do a test of uh, some audio. I'm using a Zoom H1N. Uh, recorder. So I'm getting afraid by the wasps. They seem to be attracted to where I am. This isn't going to be much of a walk and talk vlog because I don't walk so well in the first place. Uh, but I got to say, I'm really impressed with this lens. It's super sharp. Um, I don't even think I'm getting any corner vignetting. Uh, I have a couple filters on. I have the Tiffin Pro Mist one quarter, and then I have an Earth 77 mil neutral density filter, a 10 stop, because I am shooting this at wide open at 1.4, and we're at 24 frames per second, shooting at 48 shutter. Now you can see we've gone dark, but I wanna see how the dynamic range of this, and uh, I'm not even shooting F-Log, because classic chrome looks, looks too good, and uh, we're shooting ISO 320. So we're gonna see like with some of these shots, can I bring out the highlights? Uh, so we've got the filters on. The lens, I mean, I'm not very strong. It's probably a little bit heavy if I were to like carry around. I don't know who does this. I'd rather film with my cell phone than walk around like this, I think. But, um, but yeah, audio, like I said, I'm using the, using the Zoom H1N. And I am using that, um, what am I doing? I'm not plugging it in directly to the camera. Because so far I think the preamps on the camera are kind of junk, which is funny because I actually think that uh, I actually think that the in-camera audio is, is pretty decent. But I'd still like to get a lav mic. Uh, this is a stereo recorder. I do have a, a dead cat windscreen on it, which is probably a little helpful. Um, this is going to be a quick video though today. One thing we've noticed is the eye focus already. To me, it looks to be doing really well. The trouble is. The lens is a little heavy, and I hurt my shoulder, so I keep switching sides. And it's got a big old focus ring. And every time I switch sides, every time I switch sides, I think I'm probably hitting that focus ring, and I do have the camera set to override focus, so I probably should turn that off. Um, what else do I want to test? We're going to test the, the dogs, maybe, because we have heard that animal eye focus is not very good, and so far, that's been true. So let's see what we can do with Frank here on a different clip. Hey, Frankie. Hi, buddy. <laughs> now, I can't see anything right now. My, uh, I don't know how windy it is. I'm not sure if this filter is too intense. We'll see. It's always one of those ones that sometimes I don't know if I'm going to keep anything or if I'm going to have to throw it out when I get back to the computer, but we'll see See how the tracking's doing of the dog. I will say this Viltrox lens does a great job. Uh, I'll probably throw in a little clip of my kid or something here. But it does a really good job with autofocus speed. Hey, Sam. Come here, Sam. These are my good boys. Not Frank. Frank's not a good boy. Sam's a good boy. Come here, Sam. Come on, Sam. Sam's lazy. He's not even old. He's only like seven, but he thinks he's he thinks he's older than that. What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? All right. All right. One more quick test. Um, I was really torn on what focal length to buy, and I really wanted the Fuji 18 1.4, but I bought a lot of gear lately, and the economy is not great. So I decided that was too much money. Don't hit me. Don't hit me. These dogs. Don't take out my good knee. Sorry, they're running. They're running. I don't know what we see of them. Lazy Sam's getting some exercise. This is good. Um, so anyway, I was really torn on focal length, and I think 18 mil seems like a really good one, but I do a lot of things that do call for a wider 
focal length, so astro, landscape, whatever, and of course the Fuji 18 is not a cheap lens while it does seem to be fantastic. So when I saw this Viltrox, I thought it was really cool, but then I saw that there's an option for a fixed movie crop, and I'll show you what that does. So this is at 13 mil. Now you can't do this during movies, but I have linked it to my white balance button because I never use that. And suddenly, here we are at 18. Now I think this is too close for vlogging, but you can see the difference when you go back and forth with those two clips. And maybe I can even put them side by side. So, we'll see. Was this a total train wreck? Is the 10 stop too much? Does the Pro Mist look like garbage? How's the audio out of camera? How's the audio out of the zoom? How's the autofocus? Does the autofocus work with animals? Is this the best vlogging camera you can get? I don't know. I'm cooking up some rice for lunch. I'm gonna dump these videos and then we'll see what happens.